In this video, I will walk you through my process of making some springtime florals on the Procreate app. I'm using a square canvas with 3000 pixels height and 300 dpi. For making any floral arrangement, you need to make some skeleton guides first and I am making circles of different sizes. Always go with an odd number so that the composition looks balanced. Apart from circles, I'm making a cone-like shape which is going to be turned into little tulips. Now that the skeleton guide is ready, I will lower the opacity and start making the florals. For the first floral, I draw a circle on the middle and clock-like shapes around it. These are guides that can be turned into simple floral shapes. For these particular petals, I'm using two vertical lines and joining them using a wavy line. Flowers don't have to be complicated. You can simply lay some guides and build your flowers from there. For the second flower, I am making scallop-like shapes around a small circle in the center. And finally, for the third flower, I'll be making tulips, connecting a V-like shape with four scallop lines. After the basic sketch, I'm just looking for any overlapping lines and erasing them and adjusting some flower as I see fit. Since this is a bunch or a bouquet of flowers, we do need a ribbon to connect them all. There are 9 flowers so I'm making sure I make 9 stems that connect through the ribbon. It's time to move on from the sketch and color. Firstly, I'm setting a very light yellow background. I feel like light backgrounds really help bold colors pop out. The hex codes for all the colors I'm using today will be mentioned on the screen. Now is the time to make any final changes that you want from your sketch through these outlines that you make using colors. Since colors are an important part of an illustration, I don't usually wreck my brains trying to come up with a new palette every single time I illustrate. This is why you'll see me use an already made palette that you can easily find online. And if you're just confused as to what colors you need for your illustration, you can search up any artist's work online and take the color palette from there. In this coloring stage, I'm just laying out the basic shapes, not going for any detail or texture whatsoever. I am carefully placing every element in a different layer. For example, the center of the flowers are on the layers above the petals and the lowermost layers are the stems that I'm creating now. As you may have noticed, there were no leaves on the initial sketch. I kept it till the last moment because I know that leaves will help me shape the composition and balance out the bouquet in an efficient manner if I choose to do it later in the process. But you may totally choose to sketch out leaves before. This is just what I felt at the day. Every once in a while, zoom out from your illustration to see how it looks as a whole. My approach to making flowers is not realistic at all. Even look at this ribbon, it is so simple. Because my illustration style involves bold colors and a little bit of whimsy to it. So it doesn't really represent the real nature that we are used to seeing. Have fun with what you're illustrating and that's what will make the illustration even more personal and beautiful. With the two finger swipe right, I am alpha locking all the layers so that I can start putting details and textures. My general process for adding some more character to any illustration is using a darker shade and a lighter shade. 
which means adding shadows and highlights to your subject. For textures, I use any brush that is rough on the edges so that it adds more dimension to the illustration. During the process, I'm also making sure that I don't look at every detail perfectly and try to add it in as imperfect manner as possible because anything in nature might seem perfect but this is your illustration and art and you can have total creative freedom with how you want any kind of flower to look like. When you have a lot of subject matter, that is this bouquet has a lot of overlapping flowers and leaves, I am isolating the layers and working on one group of flower or ribbon at one time so that it eases the process of making sure that you are paying attention to every single illustrated element. Now for the fun part, I always add dots and sparkles to my illustration. It's just something that has become my signature style. And in the end, I make sure to watermark my art. This was so, so much fun to illustrate. Fun fact, I have actually made this illustration into a greeting card that I will be posting more on my Instagram as I get time. See you soon on another video. Bye.